Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to create and edit hyperlinks in Excel. I created this lesson at the specific request of one of my viewers, Ben, in the United Kingdom, who wrote to say, Danny, I'm going for a job interview this week, and I must demonstrate certain skills in Excel. I'm having difficulty finding a decent tutorial on, on hyperlinks. Can you help me? Certainly. Now, before I click on the link, I want to draw your attention to the screen tip. For every hyperlink that I create, and I recommend this as a best practice, create a screen tip that will let your viewer know what's going to happen or where they're going to go when they click on the link. So here, the screen tip says that when you click here, you're going to go to the main menu for this lesson. Now, this takes me over to a different Excel workbook. And when I'm training clients, I frequently create a page like this. Uh, I sometimes call it a dashboard or a main menu. I want to be able to quickly, efficiently go to a specific place in the document. In other words, to a specific worksheet or a named range. I may also want to go over to another program, for example, PowerPoint. Or I may have a specific diagram. I may send them over to an email message page or hyperlink to a website. So let's see how this works. So when I click over here, notice my screen tip. Click here to go to the loan payment information sheet. Now this takes me over to a different worksheet in the current workbook. When you create hyperlinks, don't think of them as a one-way trip. Think of hyperlinks as buying a round trip ticket. In other words, you see I have a hyperlink over here that is going to return me to the main page. So many people will create a one-way trip. They'll have the hyperlink over here and then, well, how the heck do I get back? So notice over here that I actually have two hyperlinks that will take me back to the main menu. I have a hyperlink that is linked to text and I have a hyperlink down here that is linked to a text box or a shape. All right, now, editing hyperlinks. If I click on the hyperlink, it's going to take me over. It's going to follow the link. If I want to edit it, right mouse click. So when I right mouse click from the shortcut menu, I can edit the hyperlink. Now, I'm the first to admit that this uh, edit, insert or edit hyperlink uh, dialog box is one of the more confusing dialog boxes that you're ever going to come across. However, you're going to see the same dialog box if you're creating hyperlinks in Excel, Word, or PowerPoint. So the trick is to work from the left to the right. In other words, notice over here, where do I want to link to? As you click on each of these buttons, it actually opens up new menu choices. So in this case, I want to link to a place in the document. My document is an Excel workbook. Now notice that it is linked to text up here. And I can change this. So I can change it to be Excel menu. Now you won't see that until we actually close the dialog box. Now, again, this takes some time because the, the nomenclature, the way this is organized is very confusing. Notice the place in the document. I have cell references and I have a defined name. Well, oddly enough, the cell references happen to be the names of the worksheets. Go figure. The defined name, I've created one defined name in this workbook, so I can quickly go to a defined name. And also, when I go to a worksheet, I don't have to go to the default setting, which is cell A1. I can edit this to go to any cell in the main menu. And here is my screen tip. Again, I strongly recommend that you create screen tips. They're very, very simple. It just takes uh, 30 seconds. Click here to return to the main Excel menu. And of course, it's very easy to come in and edit it if necessary. You want to let people know what's going to happen when they click. All right, now watch what's going to happen. This text that I edited up here is going to change. Click OK. And you see, you don't have to go in here and change the text. Do it from the Edit Hyperlink dialog box. All right, now let's click on the text box that I have down here. I mentioned that you can go to a name range. So I have one named range up here called data table. Of course, if I click on it from the name drop down menu, it's going to take me to that name range, which is I've named cell D9 
the data table. Let's move back here and let's use the hyperlink. So here it's taking me directly to that active cell. So it activates the cell D9. Again, let's come back here and this time let's go over to PowerPoint. So I want to click on the link that will take me to a PowerPoint presentation of the loan table. Again, think of this as a round trip. Notice over here that on the PowerPoint slide, I have a hyperlink that will take me back to Excel. I can also have hyperlinks that link to pictures. So when I click over here, this takes me to another place in the document. It's taking me over here to this place. And oh, then we want to do that. Let's come back at the picture. Click here to activate the worksheet. Here's the picture. Now, when I click over here on the picture, you see the screen tip down there. Click here to return to the main menu. So I have uh, created a hyperlink on this picture. And now it takes me back to the main menu. Now, let me show you how to create a hyperlink. I'm going to come over here to uh, the hyperlink to a website. That happens to be one of the worksheet tabs. So click over here. Now, you've seen hyperlinks that are like this without the screen tip. You've also seen the worst, which is to just click here. And I did put a screen tip in here, thank God. But you see so many click here. And no one will ever click. People are wise enough uh, to not do that. All right, so I want to link this to text click over here and I could either come over to the insert tab on the ribbon and click insert a hyperlink or I could use the keyboard shortcut control plus K let's do that control plus K so here is the dialog box that we saw earlier we want to go in this case to a place in the document in this case I want to go to the main menu and I'm going to change the uh, text up here. Notice that when I click OK, it's going to go to the main Excel menu. All right, so from this worksheet, I'm going to leave it with, no, let's change it. Let's go to cell uh, C1, and I want to make sure that I have a screen tip. Okay, doesn't have to be fancy, very short, and now we're ready to go. So let's click OK and pay attention to the text up here. So you see I changed the text inside the dialog box. Now as another best practice, what I recommend, another way that you can actually come over here without activating the hyperlink is to use the keyboard. So in other words, I use the directional arrow. In this case, what I'd like to do, and I, I again, this is my personal preference, I'd like to have my hyperlinks that are uh, tied to text be in text that I've merged across a range of cells. So back here, after I've selected the range of cells, I'm going to merge and center it. To me, it just makes it more obvious that that is a hyperlink. Let's do this one more time. Here is my text. I uh, use the Control plus K keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to leave this OK. Uh, no, yeah, I'm going to leave this OK. I want to go to cell A1. That's fine. Now, this time I'm going to an existing file. In other words, I'm going to a different location. I'm going to another Excel workbook. And I recommend that you keep your documents that you're linking to in the same folder. Hyperlinks are fragile. They're easily broken. So I want to come over here my screen tip okay click OK and now click OK and now let's test it out click and now I'm back to the open and close. Come back here and I just want to quickly demonstrate uh, two more places that you can uh, link to. So over here, let's come back to the main menu. I could link to send an email message. So when I click over here for additional information about hyperlinks, contact me via email. So in this case, the hyperlink, let's come in here and edit it. Edit the hyperlink. 
In this case, in the dialog box, I'm going to an email address. So who the email is going to be addressed to, and then you put in the subject line. Again, a screen tip. And we can also come over and hyperlink to a website. Again, the screen tip, purchase resources. I, the text is clear, but I also put in the uh, screen tip. So click over here, and it will take you to a website. Now, of course, with well, the website is going to open up in a different menu. So in this case, I'm going to hold down Alt and Tab so that I can come back and return to Excel. Come back here, click on the Open and Close Workbook, and there you've seen how to create, edit, and manage your hyperlinks. Well, good luck to you on your job interview, Ben, and I will look for you in the next lesson.